I was born in that house. My parents moved here when my older brother was born, and they were starting a family. As a child, I grew up listening to earthquake stories. It was something that was always present. My mother used to take my brother and me to school early on her way to work at the market. She would leave us with a teacher for a while before the rest of the children arrived so she could get to work on time. As the school was a little far from home, I always saw people getting up early to go to work. I would dream about growing up, being able to study and then work to help others. I could not wait. Ingeniera? Sí, Rosy. Pero tendrás que estudiar muchos, muchos años. Pero estoy segura que serás la mejor ingeniera y vas a ayudar a mucha gente. Sí, sí. sí, sí. As a child, you spend so many hours at school. It becomes your whole world. So experiencing an earthquake in a school that is not prepared for it, it's very difficult. There was one morning that I remember like it was yesterday. We arrived at school very early that day. It was still empty, and we played with my brother Javier before going into the classroom. Miss Marisa was always there, even earlier than us, always happy to see us. After the earthquake, the classroom was damaged. Fortunately, we were not harmed. I remember that afterwards. We spent many months in a temporary school, unable to return to our classroom or to our normal lives. It was then I decided to become an engineer. I understood that we live in a seismically active country and that it's not earthquakes that kill people, but vulnerable buildings. As engineers, we are able to study different solutions to improve the performance of school buildings during an earthquake. A scientific approach is key to developing an affordable, non-disruptive solution, which can be applied in thousands of school buildings nationwide. We identified a cost-efficient solution for this specific type of a school building in my country. With this retrofitting in place and proper emergency plans, the community is safer during seismic events and children can also go back to school 
and continue learning without interruption. Today, my own daughter attends the same school where I studied. The school is now retrofitted with a solution we developed. As parents, we are always worried about our children. But I know that if an earthquake occurs, now my daughter will be safer at school. The Global Programme for Safer Schools provided technical assistance to the Ministry of Education in Peru in the design of the first national school infrastructure plan with a seismic vulnerability reduction program. Earthquakes and other natural hazards in countries like Peru expose the lives of children to risk and jeopardize their development to full potential. Reducing school infrastructure vulnerability is a worldwide challenge. A global estimate indicates that the education sector may face an average of 2,500 fatalities and three and four billion dollars in economic loss due to earthquake and tropical cyclone events respectively on an annual basis. To address this global challenge, scalable solutions are needed. The Global Programme for Safer Schools aims to boost large-scale investments to improve the safety and resilience of school infrastructure at risk from natural hazards and enhance the quality of learning environments for children.